Hey, what's going on guys? Today I just want to do a quick video sharing with you guys this resin fuel tank kit here that I got sent to me from Paul at Swim SN Designs. And I first just want to start off the video first by saying sorry to Paul for taking quite a while to getting around to this uh, video. He sent this uh, to me a little while back and I have been shelving it for a while. Uh, so apologies for that, but now I'm finally happy to share this with you guys. So. He's got a Facebook page if you guys want to check that out. I'll of course have the link down below to that. You guys can check that out. And I know aside from these fuel tanks that he makes, he's also working on a set of heavy weapons for the PG Gundam, for the PG Unleashed. I think it's a bazooka and a Gundam hammer, I believe. It's just those two weapons maybe. Uh, but yeah, that looks really cool as well too. So today we're going to be taking a look at just this. So as you can see, it just came in this simple black box. And the great thing about these is that this will hopefully give me the motivation to finally getting around to finishing my resin conversion Sazabi kit because that's what I plan to use these for. So uh, it looks like that they're, let me just, a note about the packaging. It looks like they're in three sizes and it says that this makes two tanks but they're both checked so I'm wondering if he sent me a set in the small and the set and a medium as well too. Uh, maybe that's what that's indicating but let me just see here. So here is some of the parts. As you can see it's just in uh, some gray 3D printed resin there. And let's see, oh, the rest of the parts are just in here. Hopefully there's some instructions as well too because there's quite a few parts of these. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out, but some instructions are uh, not included. So I guess I'll just have to sort out based on the pictures. As you guys can see, the rest of the parts are just kind of in here, just wrapped in bubble, bubble wrap, as you can see there. Just want to take a look at some of these parts up close up here and they look pretty good like it's going to require a little bit of sanding on them just to get them really paint ready and it depends on what you want to do with them as well too if you're like doing a super weather build you don't need a super super clean surface but it looks like it should only take a little bit of uh sanding just to get them ready you got like uh there's some of like the leftovers from the pins over here or the gates kind of basically what it would be so those need to be sanded down and just taking a look at some of the more detailed parts here, you can see they're really nicely detailed, so it should uh, look really nice once they're put together and all painted up. But I'm also wondering how well these are just going to just uh, snap together, you know, without having to do any gluing or pinning or anything like that. So let me work on getting some of these a little bit cleaned up and uh, see how easily I can just go ahead and put these together. All right, now coming back after messing with this a little bit, uh, basically you've got the parts for two full fuel tanks. Now I was uh, wondering about the size, whether I have uh, one set in medium and one set in small, but actually what it is, is you have the parts to make it either medium or small, basically by the center fuel tank section here. This is the part that you have in two different sizes that you can choose from. All the rest of the parts are the same, so you can just choose whether you want it a little bit shorter or a little bit longer, basically it's like one centimeter difference, basically it looks like. So we've got two sizes of those and also two sizes of these kind of rods that go along the side of those as well too that you'll need in, in long or short depending on which size you choose from. So just from starting to put a couple of pieces together I can just tell you guys that uh, it's going to take some cleanup and stuff just to get everything fitting properly but I think you know once a year if you're used to like working with resin especially it's definitely not going to be anything too unusual for you so it's not the kind of thing that you'll be able to just take out of the box and just put together right away it will take some cleanup and everything just to get everything fitting properly so that's why I won't be able to put it together for you guys now at the moment but once I start working on the Sazabi some more uh, I'll finish up the cleanup on these and show you guys obviously at that time how they look once they're all put together but I will put a couple other images up on the screen for you guys just to have that for reference but still hopefully you guys can see just from the parts and everything that you know with a little bit of cleanup and all the detail on here these things are going to be looking really nice and so I would recommend you guys to check out his uh, Facebook page if you want to pick up a set of these you can get in touch with them through there and again the uh, weapon set that he's working on for the PG uh, RX-782 Unleashed it also does look really cool as well so check that out guys again thank you to paul at sumimasen designs for sending these out to me i'll definitely be putting these to use hopefully sooner than later but i got a few other things to finish up before i can start work again on that sazabi but i do want to get back to working on that one other thing i guess real quick that i'll we'll take a look at just on this sort of like very rough assembly here of this i can tell you guys that it's roughly uh about 12 or 12 and a half uh, centimeters in length in total if you're using the longer type fuel tank so minus a centimeter for the shorter type so just to give you an idea that's about the height generally of about a high grade model kit so these are definitely going to be for your larger kits 100 scale larger kits like the Zazabi or the Nightingale something like that a pretty much bigger kit but anyway that's going to be it for this quick video today guys just wanted to share that with you so hopefully that is interesting for some of you guys if you wanted to pick up some of these parts hopefully uh, you'll check out his Facebook page. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.